This tutorial is going to take you through how to make the game of snake. The game of snake involves this green snake that you have to move around the screen, eat all of the food. Of course, every piece of food that you eat increases the length of the snake, thus making it harder to keep it all contained within this field of play. You lose the game by crashing into yourself. You also lose the game by crashing into the wall. So we're going to go through how to make this game in three steps. The first one is going to be getting the snake to move around the screen. The second one is going to be adding the food and the score. And the third one is going to be losing the game where you crash into yourself or crash into the wall. So we'll start with a blank slate. We'll get rid of our cat. So to start off, we are going to create the head of the snake. So we'll call this one Snakehead. For a snake head, we just want to have something in the shape of a square. Because I'm a creature of habit, I'm going to keep it the same exact color. Same color as my demonstration, I'll say. Uh, it's very important that we take our uh, snake head and we put it in the middle of our costume screen here. If we have it off to the side, every time you turn, your snake head is going to jump to a different spot which will be the amount of the offset from this center. So keep it right here on the center. Again, you can see there's a little indicator here that we want this to be over top of. All right, so we have our snake head. We're going to now go into our code. So let's get this thing to move around the screen with our arrow keys. Up arrow moves it up, down, left, and right. So we'll say under events, when our, checkered or our uh, green flag is checked, we want this thing to start moving around the screen. So we will say forever. We're going to say if the up arrow is pressed, move it up, and so on and so forth with the other arrow keys. And we'll say point in direction or in this case, zero. My up arrow, so we're going to need four of these, one for the down arrow, one for the left, and one for the right. Rather than hunt for all the commands, you can actually right-click on and go to Duplicate and just change some of the options on here. So down arrow, be down. Okay, so we're going to point in all these different directions, which is great, but it's not going to show up on anything unless we actually move a certain number of steps on the screen. We can also say that forever we want to move 10, I think is a little fast. We can bring it down to 5. If you want to even be slower for the sake of demonstration, you can bring it down to 3. So we're on here, and you can see we're actually moving around, and all of our keys work. Another great thing to have on here is whenever we check the flag and we want this game to start, is to have our uh, snake head be exactly in the middle of the screen. If you notice, there's a coordinate plane down here, negative, positive, negative, positive, which makes it very easy to find the middle of the screen, which will be at 0, 0. So we can say every time in the beginning we can go to 0, 0. It give us plenty of room to get our hands on the keys and start moving the snake around. Okay, always going to go to the middle. Okay, now that we have this, we want to make our snake head look something more like a snake and not just a um, square object on the screen. So we're going to use the clone feature, which will be uh, down here in control. But first, of course, we want to have when our when our uh, flag is checked as our event to start creating clones of itself that it's going to leave behind its path that it takes and make it look like a snake. I'm going to say when this flag is checked, we want this thing to forever create clones of myself. All right, and now it's going to look more like a snake slithering around. 
Okay, the only problem is now we need it to delete itself after a certain amount of time. We can say when I start as clone, forever, we want it to delete this clone, but only after a certain amount of time. In control, we have a wait feature, and we'll wait one second. All right, so now it looks like a snake that's slithering around, which brings us to the end of our first tutorial. Now, there are some things we will change. We're going to use the variable feature to actually change the amount on here. We know that we want our snake to increase in size whenever we eat food, but we don't want to have to do it manually. So instead of one second, this is going to increase to two. All right, so our snake's going to be a lot longer. All right, and then eventually we'll get to the point where we're at like five seconds. All right, where a snake is going to be really long. Again, to not have to change it manually. Uh, we'll look into that when we start getting into eating food and um, having our snake increase in length automatically for the more food that we eat.